tomorrow, Purdy's going for a Thai massage. <whistles> Let's hope that we've got some happy endings. Now, there's a little bit of a story behind this. When I met up with Paul the other night, um, I met his sister, Dawn, and she had the exact same problem as me. And that was neck pain, arm pain, shoulder pain, and um, she went to see this Thai masseuse, and she's not had any bother since. So, that's coming up, but for now, I've just been scrolling about on the internet, somebody, Zero Hour, I think his name was, can't remember his name, but he left a comment on the last video to give turmeric and black pepper a try. Then I found how to make turmeric milk. So, turmeric milk, one teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of honey, cup full of milk in a saucepan, boil it up. Now, Apparently, and I didn't know this, hi, apparently, and I didn't know this, turmeric and black pepper are supposed to have excellent anti-inflammatory properties. So, let's give this one a go. I would rather be taking this than the gabapentin that I've been on. Don't know why I didn't think of it before. You know how it is, but uh, I'm going to do a vlog in the future about the gabapentin because that stuff just about destroyed me. I had a very big list of side effects from taking it, um, including exacerbating an already, yeah, I was already depressed and then things really exacerbated. Um, my symptoms on top of the pain and all the rest of it so I'll cover that in the, f in the future but um, yeah I'm off them now and it's back to the the old ways the herbal remedies and give these a try now it's supposed to be very difficult to get the turmeric um, the turmeric's bioavailability into your system. Um, it doesn't soak through your gut very well. So that's the idea behind the black pepper because it helps the absorb uh, absorption in your, in your gut. Um, the honey's to sweeten the taste of it. And uh, yeah, we'll try it. Turmeric is also supposed to help with arthritis, as is honey. And some, one treatment that I have used in the past for stiff joints and aches and all the rest of it has been honey, apple cider vinegar, then half a cup full of water, and uh, drank that. And that, believe me, it really does work particularly for arthritic conditions. So let's hope that this one sorts my neck and shoulder and the Thai massage, of course. Apparently you get pulled about all over the place and stuck into all sorts of positions. So that's right up my street. A couple of weeks on this, guys. I'd much rather be doing something like this than facing a horrible, nasty, operation so you've got to try some haven't you while we're here i've landed myself a little job just to keep me uh, from going a little bit crazy by spending all my time looking after monkey here so what we're going to do we've got a little bit of gardening to do that's what i used to do before i set out in van life I was gardening landscaping hard landscaping soft landscaping fencing 
built summer houses, uh, garden sheds. It's something I really, really used to enjoy and I've not done any gardening for a couple of years now. So I'm going down here and clearing all the pavements, getting the weeds out. Then we're going through all these planters and uh, just having a general tidy up. Well guys, I've been here for a massage. I'm at Lao Traditional Thai Massage and I've just met and had... I've just met and been pulled about all over that bed by such a lovely lady. And I feel in myself um, a hell of a lot easier, in my muscles, my neck. Um, this is May, by the way, and Hello. she has just done a fantastic job of Yes, stretching me, pulling me, and that is without doubt the deepest tissue massage that I have ever had. And I feel so much brighter in myself, spaced out, a little bit lightheaded, but uh, yeah, May, I, that was wonderful. Oh, thank thank you. you. So, guys, if you're suffering with a bad back and you're in the Louth area, I would certainly, definitely recommend this lovely young lady thank here you. so yeah thank you mate thank, thank you, you. Very much. bless you in a mass day afternoon guys so in the last video when uh, we arrived at ravina holiday park i mentioned that i was doing a test and we were you know we were struggling a bit and uh, unfortunately i failed i was absolutely gutted i have never ever failed an exam in my life but I've always been good at the theory stuff, not the practical stuff, and this was more of a practical one. So, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. But they may invite me back to retake it, and I actually did apply for a few other of their projects at the time, and I've, I've passed three of the exams for those ones. So I'm on three different projects. Obviously, I've only got time for one, because it's like 20 hours a week. But they're, they're giving me up to 40 hours a week. I can, do, I can do anything between 20 and 40 hours a week. So the last few days, well, the last week really, I've been solid at it really, just trying to build us up again. And uh, I'm absolutely sick to death of that laptop screen in my eyes. They were bloodshot the other day after studying for that exam. Um, oh wow, is that a Kestrel? Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> so, yeah, we are heading out. I'm desperate to get out back in nature again. It's not all work. You need, you need life-work balance. Everybody says work-life balance, but life comes first, doesn't it, really? And um, I've been seeing a lot of uh, numerology numbers lately, and it's all 111 and 1111, and all the, all the spiritual people, they'll know what I'm talking about. But it's, it's a sign that, you know, th things are manifesting. That, so everything that I'm thinking about, everything that I'm doing, it's all manifesting. And me just solid working all the time is showing the universe that that's the life that I want. And it isn't. So, yeah, we're out. We are out. And we're going to go and see another beach just down the road. We also need to get some uh, bits from the shop as well. Always an errand to do, isn't there? Um, so yeah, we're hoping that it doesn't rain and we can get a bit of time outside and I can give my eyes a break from that computer. Um, other news, yesterday Purdy went for that Thai massage and he's I didn't feeling... I happy ending I wanted, but I got a happy ending. <laughs> he did get a happy ending. He's feeling a lot looser. Today he's feeling quite bruised and battered. Um, yeah, now, I, like I am I'm a, <laughs> I'm a qualified massage therapist, but um, mine's more the holistic sort of normal massage. You'd, really expect to get in a fluffy spa stuff. it's not fluffy I've been told I'm very good at it but uh, this woman 
Oh well, Guys, she battered, tissue. she battered him. <laughs> it was like a very deep tissue massage. So he's feeling a bit battered this morning, but you're feeling quite loose, aren't you? And things are improving in that er that that area. So um, now, when he was struggling, I really was starting to get worried about it putting a stop on our travels. Um, that really does worry me because it it keeps me alive, it keeps me going, it keeps me inspired, it keeps me wanting to live. Not that I don't want to live, don't take me the wrong way, just, you know, out of the kind of depressive phase, especially in winter, you know, everybody suffers with a bit of depression in winter, I think. Well, most people, anyway. It does affect you. So... Yeah, it's good news that, you know, maybe if you got something like that a bit more regular, maybe once a month or something, that it might even, I don't, I don't want to, it, it, enough for him not to go for the operation. I don't, I don't want to say that he's not going to go for it because you, you don't, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to put that out there and I don't want to like be too hopeful, but I am an optimist. I always have been. But yeah, anyway, that's just a little update. Enough of the waffle. Let's go and have some fun. You wanna say hi, guys? Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. You keep me going, Baba. You do. <laughs> well, this is a pretty park up. I do like it here. nice perfect for fishing this is where all the fishermen come down the council had actually put barriers up down there a few years back we were told and uh, <laughs> they didn't like it so they ripped them back down again and they never got put back up I think they got the I think the council must have got the message but <laughs> perfect spot I like it Right, now if you don't mind, I'm going to go and have some fun with my family on the beach. Hey up, doggies! There we go, Mr. Bertolini. Sadly, it's not big enough for the pot. One nice little white in there. I'll put that one back. Well, I hope that proves that... I'm not the blanker that you thought I was. Cheers guys. Not a brilliant night, but still caught one and uh, took that on a panel rig, which uh, was given to by a guy that I met down here at, uh, at Ravenna. And uh, yeah, one fish, not big enough for the pot, but still it was nice to get out for a couple of hours. Anywhere, it's getting on for 10 o'clock at night now. It's bloody cold, it's foggy outside, and uh, I think it's about time for going home. Well, technically, I am home, but we have no bedding, still at the chalet. The van's a shit tip, it's gonna get sorted tomorrow. We'll be coming back down here Wednesday, so, and I think we're stopping for a few nights. Anyway, cheers guys, that was a refreshing relief. Just getting out and getting some fresh air and a <sighs> little bit of bliss. Cheers. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.